I think many of you might be familiar with cymatics, this uh, notion that you can take a surface, introduce a frequency, and there's sand particles on it, and they create patterns. And I was looking at this and thinking about just everything I've experienced in life and have, have written about and talked about in terms of manifestation and resonance and my, my book, Dreaming Your World Into Being and all this stuff. And, and uh, realized that it, it's been a little bit oversimplified probably. You know, there are actually, um, if you look at just nature itself, and I might have done a done an article or video on this before on some level. There's just a tremendous amount of complexity involved in this process of vibration and resonance. And what I mean by that is it, it isn't just one frequency. So a tree, a stone, uh, any number of things in nature, um, thoughts, prayers, uh, involve a number of complex frequencies and, and interplay. And this is illustrated a little bit like when they've been using frequencies now, sound frequencies to, to levitate things, right? It's, it's not just one frequency. There has to be a certain placement. And then <clears throat> the, when the frequencies come together, they create an energy or a force that's capable of, um, you know, countering gravity, for example, or, or, producing a wave that lifts a ping pong ball or something like that. So <clears throat> when you think of this, you know, and then also like I remember studying uh, Royal Rife and the ability to find the resonant frequencies of, of germs in the body and then introduce a pattern. And once that resonance is achieved, it can, it can destroy, it can explode these things um, like a singer um, doing that to a wine glass. So all of it is, Again, I feel very strongly that, um, and this isn't uh, that um, outrageous, but strongly that resonance and frequencies are at the basis of, of all of, of creation and, and the process of manifesting, um, transforming, creating, destroying, <laughs> you know, everything that, that, that this theater consists of. Um, is largely due to, you know, resonances of sorts of frequencies and so on. Um, so I just wanted to really, you know, share the, 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 the idea here that if we can find a way to come up with the correct complexities of, of, of frequencies, then there isn't anything we couldn't accomplish <laughs> in science and, and otherwise. Um, and so I think it would be very interesting to, to study um, how these, these frequencies interact with each other and how combinations of frequencies and from one to two, for, from two to, you know, hundreds perhaps could, could be used to, uh, to influence, uh, influence things. And I know when I do, you know, and this is very common amongst all cultures of, of uh, getting into altered states and shamanism and, and related things, you know, when you shake a rattle, there's little beads in the rattle and they all vibrate slightly different frequencies, but, the number of you know, beat, you know, beats that you're doing, you know, like all of this really has an impact on what you're connecting to in both the physical and non-physical world. So this is the idea behind it. Thank you. And besides the sort of scientific uh, implications of this and how we should study um, the world and, and, you know, resonance and frequencies and how things work as well as consciousness. Um, I think it, as it pertains to how you can manifest, right? How you pray, how you, how you ask for the experiences you prefer. Um, I would just say that what seems to work well is getting in the feeling place, obviously of, of, 
the experience um, and being comprehensive, <laughs> not oversimplifying. So, <clears throat> you know, um, if you want, uh, you know, a certain kind of relationship experience, you know, it, it's not enough just to say, oh, I just want someone that I can really love and have fun with and feel good with and feel supported by and, and so on. But it's also, well, and I, and I, I want it to be easy and I want it to be fun and I want it to be lasting and, you know, like you've got to fill out the rest of it. So when anytime, and, and there's, there's a whole school of thought around not, not only do I want these experiences, but, you know, adding, uh, because it will allow me to, to be more available and present and be supportive and loving and, and be there for someone else and, or the world. So you want to, you want to keep growing your prayer from this is the experience I want to these are the experiences I want in total <laughs> to then. And I want it to, you know, sort of do this for the world, for, for the other person in this for the world. So you're comprehensive. And I think that'll bring in enough of the variety of vibrations necessary to, to, for the universe to, to answer it in 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 the, in a sort of um, resonant way. <laughs>